Hi, I'm Ian, your STMLS specialist. Let's talk about how to use the tax autofill to start a new listing. For mastery of this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. To start a new listing, let's go to the listings icon at the top of the page. Let's click on it. When we see our options, we want to move our mouse down to the appropriate class. Today, we are going to focus on residential properties. Let's click on residential. When your page loads, we will notice a few options along the top. There's save and the next one is tax autofill. When you put the mouse over tax autofill, we'll see an option up here. We need to move the mouse down to CRS tax autofill and click that option. When we get to this page, we'll need to do a few things. There is a required field here. We, in this case, want to search in San Diego. I'm going to go ahead and start typing in the words San Diego. Now that I see San Diego as an option, I'm going to take my mouse and click on where it says San Diego. We'll now see this option appear. We will need to add in at least two other fields in order to find results. In this case, I'm going to use the street number and street name. The address I'm entering in is 3784. I'm going to go ahead and type that in the street name is Nectarine Circle. Along with all searches here in this system, I recommend just typing in the name of the street, leaving off Circle Drive Avenue. Perfect. With just those fields filled in, we can see that there is one match. Let's click Search to reveal our results. We see here a tax ID, an address, and several other fields. Although there is only one option, we need to tell the system that we wish to select it. We can do that by clicking on this box here. You'll notice that after the box has been selected, the entire line will turn green. This will let us know that this address has been selected. From here, we can choose the option that says Autofill. Click on Autofill to bring up the load tax data. The load tax data box will show you each of the fields that has information that can be transferred over into Paragon. You will generally want to keep all of these check marked so you can transfer all of the data. Feel free to remove a check mark that you do not wish to have on your listing. Again, leaving them checked is the preferential option. Let's go up to the save button. You will notice immediately that all of those fields have now been entered into your listing. This was how to use the tax autofill. Please visit us at sdmls.com to find more training videos. Simply go to the top left corner and click on the Paragon icon and then go down to training videos. This has been Ian Clark, your SDMLS trainer, reminding you to play pause, and practice.